When the number one team in the state faces a top five ranked opponent, it would be very difficult to find a bigger game than that. The top team in the Associated Press is McGuanago, Muskego, fifth ranked. Let's not overthink this, people. Time for the big game. Fans pumped to see this one. Win Stang, the state's leading rusher, 1,224 yards plus 16 touchdowns in just four games. Make it 17. Later on, make it 18 and 19 as he piles up more than 200 yards on the ground and three TDs. McGuanago stays on top, beating Muskego 24 to 6. I was at the monster matchup Menominee Falls and Marquette at Hart Park. It's a lot of M's. Luke Novotny picked by Derek Steinbrenner of the Phoenix. In the falls looking like they have life, but the Hilltoppers Cameron Finnerty gets all over falls QB Wilson Kirshner. The pressure pick by Murphy Monreal. He will turn it into a pick six. Great play action here. Novotny on the slant to Thad Hoffman. And look at that. He gone. Marquette rolls 49 to 7. Sussex Hamilton at Brook Central, one of the state's top quarterbacks, Nate Koloff. Leading the Chargers attack. Nice connection with Blake Shower. Now Brook Central trying to keep pace. Drew Edmond to Nick Foster for the score. The Lancers had pitched three straight shutouts, but Hamilton rolls tonight 49 24. Couple, couple of overlooked teams getting some love, and the North Shore had one perfect team in conference and six teams tied for second coming into the evening. Delaney Bry has the highlights. Another week, another Friday night of high school football. I'm starting at Port Washington as they host Kettle Moraine Lutheran, and then I'll make my way over to Homestead as they host Hartford. Let's get to the highlights. The Pirates wasting no time getting on the board. First drive, Ben Fritz takes the snap and goes to the races. Chargers falling like dominoes left and right. No one's catching this guy tonight. After cashing in for six, Port Washington goes for two and five. Belly flops in for two more. Down eight, Kettle Moraine Lutheran trying to recoup. Landon Haig now tosses it my way, but it's Christopher Kawasenga right under it. 17 takes it to the house, and the Chargers pick up the extra point. 8-7, Pirates want more. Captain of the ship, Fritz, has the wind on his side, and he sails into the night for another touchdown. Second quarter, Port Washington would pick up one more before I sailed out to Homestead. There, the Highlanders had dug themselves into a hole, or maybe they were just waiting for me. Jack Reed takes the rock up the gut, 22-16 after the extra point. How about some defense? Next drive, Xavier Smith snatches it out of the air, and folks, we got a ball game. Beginning of the fourth quarter, Sal Balisteri snap, fake, to the house. Homestead on top, 23-22. Hartford not rolling over just yet. They rumble in for six and go for two. 30, 23 lead for Hartford. 20 seconds left and the Highlanders go for broke. Ballesteri sends a prayer up to the back of the end zone, but an Oriole, not an angel, comes down with it. And as much as it pains me, the refs say it's an interception. A heartbreaker for the Highlanders. 30, 23 final. We'll see you next week. Delaney Bry, TMJ4 News. Thanks, Deport Washington 1 43 7. Rufus King, Milwaukee Hamilton at South Stadium. Antoine Coney rushed for 177 yards. This 29 yard score stake Hamilton to an eight zip lead, but King has the trump card in Wisconsin commit. Nate White picks up the low snap, makes some magic. Two tacklers miss, splits two defenders, splits two more to score, ran for 106 yards and three touchdowns. The Mighty Mighty Generals win 21 8. Final stop, Custer Stadium for Milwaukee Pulaski. And Milwaukee North, the Rams charging early and often. Adrian McMillan pushed out of bounds at the 11, and Pulaski isn't done there. One pass in the game, and that's all they would need. Eber Lopez to Isaiah Conley Fuentes for the touchdown. Pulaski rolls over North Division 52-6. Coming up next in our segment of 